Now, uh, I know that uh, you all enjoyed watching the, the little man at uh, Legoland, but uh, the uh, scene has changed. Uh, actually, across the street, we have a, an Amish lady. Yes, I'm up in Ohio. It is uh, March 22nd, 2016. I'm in the community of uh, Clitoris. Is that what? That's the, right. Yep. Uh, Clit for short. Yeah. And uh, oh, golly, up there you can see a, a horse and buggy. But anyway, uh, it's a Tuesday. Putt took the day off. He's a man of leisure today, and we are in Amish country. And actually, what city are we in? I was it was uh, this Hope, or did we already hope. go through yes, Hope? We're Hope. But anyway, we've come down 241, a little different way, 93 to 241, and uh, I'm showing Putt some uh, Amish country he's never seen before. Yes, we've made it to. Heinies, I can't believe it. That is how you pronounce that, right? Heinies yeah. Cheese Shop. Welcome to Heinies, where the cheese is made and often cut. <laughs> and Putt, you've never been here stuff. before. You've never been here I've before. I've never been have. here before. Did I'm you bring sorry. your camera? Um, no, I brought my phone. I might do some video on that. Well, anyway. Figure out where we are at. Exactly. Let's see. Oh, okay. Cool. Yes, good old Ohio farmland. What do you say, Putt? Nothing better. No, there really isn't. Well, maybe a couple things. But yeah. This is high up there. Some football games, some yeah. basketball games. You notice I didn't even have my camera out when we were at the state tournament. Yeah. I just I just left my cameras alone, but But you can even see down there they have, they actually aerate their water in Amish country. And uh, that's so that the, uh, that the razor glides for those Amish women. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes, the Amish women, I just found out online, have embraced razor rage. And uh, they're starting to clean things up. Okay, Pat, let's go into the cheese shop Check and see what they have. For those of you in the viewing audience who do not know the putster, he's here. Hey, by the way, uh, uh, that picture I took of you down at the... Uh, state tournament? State tournament. Uh, I sent it to my uh, daughter and uh, to my son and a few others. And Renee uh, uh, wrote back and said, is Ryan has Ryan lost some weight? Yeah. So you could she could tell right. that you're yeah. down a little bit. You need yeah. to you need to stick with it. That's right. Keep it going. That's exact but that's exactly right. She could and I said, "Yeah, I said he's working on it, but it's a tough process." And, yeah. and she said, "I know, dad." And then she sent me a picture of herself and she was in the gym. <laughs> you know. It, yeah, I know process. it's a tough process. Yeah. All right, let's go in and check out the uh, cheese and see uh, see what they have in Heinies. Okay, we're in here in Heinies and they really have a heck of a nice setup here. Uh, they have all of these, you can see all of these little white containers and they have toothpicks and you can go down and actually sample the cheese before you buy it. That jalapeno pepper cheese was delicious, but... It's got some kick to it. Does it? Habanero cheese. This is the first time ever that Putt and I have been in Heinies. Did you find out what city we're in? Why don't you ask one of the girls what city this is? Well, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll ask. Them. All right. But I have to admit, we're in Berlin. Berlin? Berlin, yeah. Berlin. Yep. So we're in Berlin, Ohio, yep. on our way to Millersburg, and then we'll get back up to Walnut Creek. Yep. But I have to admit, I'm kind of glad we stopped here because, uh, I, I, you know, I've driven through this before, but the only place I stopped was at a bike shop with the buck. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and that really didn't have a whole lot of Amish flavor. This does. And you know how I crave my Amish you know. flavor. I can't wait till we find that little shop with the glass window today. What what you see? Here's, here's the way to go right here. What's that? Already cut up cubes. Cheese cubes. 
do, do, is there any of that jalapeno cheese there cut up? Uh, yep, right here. Jalapeno cheese here. Uh, I, I think I'm going to get some. That stuff is really good. Look at that, they've already processed it for us. What kind are you getting? I think I'm going to get the variety pack. How much is it? $3.29. This is 2 dollars is that the jalapeno? Grab that cup for me because I'm gonna I definitely want that. Alright. And of course we see the Amish women back there. Is it true that Amish women no longer wear panties? That's that's what I heard. I I didn't know if that was true or not. As you can see, we are not the only people here and it's what, eleven o'clock or is 11 it? Eleven o'clock, yeah. Yes, Putt and I get when we come to Amish country, we like to come down here early. But anyway, getting back to my question, is it true that Amish women don't wear panties? Yeah. It is true? Yeah, I researched it. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, it is true. I just researched it. It's true. I mean, they have more cheese in this place, more varieties of cheese oh, yeah. in this place than I've ever seen. What sayeth you, am I right? You're right. No doubt. Hey, did you ever see that video I sent you of the uh, robot? No. I tagged you in a video in a oh. comment section of a robot that On looks Facebook? yes, looks human. Really? Absolutely. And uh, now we're about to get separated from our money. We're here at checkout and uh, the very first store we stop at, Putt and I already have to start laying out the coin. Well, that's the way it is in Amish country. You come down here to spend some coin, eat, and have a little fun. All right, we're leaving Heine's, and uh, we just found out that we're close to Berlin, but we're actually in what they call Bunker Hill. And we're getting ready to uh, go over to the bakery. There's our man G, just you know, leaving the cheese factory, wants a little burn. Well, you know that after uh, I eat, I always like to have a burn, and uh, of course I had some cheese in the cheese factory, uh, and Heine's, Heine's, uh, you guys saw it, we were just in it. You know, I really like that place, but Very nice. Yes, I, I, I like it. And, and you know when I suggested that we stop, you know, as we came up to this place? Yep. It was kind of tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. And But then I remembered that you wanted to get some cheese for your dad anyway. Yeah. And uh, I'm really glad we stopped. And uh, uh, I see across the street uh, Kaufman's Bakery. I don't know what that place is like, but I think we definitely should, uh, should go over and check it out. I think you're down, right? Oh, yeah. Now, let's some of our itinerary. Tomorrow night, Putt and I are definitely going to go see uh, Stark County, Summit County High School All-Star uh, all Basketball game. Correct. That, that's going to be at Malone. And uh, hopefully we'll hook up with your uh, your boss either to go to the game or to hook up with them after the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. That's Wednesday night. And then uh, Thursday night, it's uh, finally Hartville Kitchen. And for the kids, yesterday... Uh, I hit uh, Millage's and of course went down to Ben Hagee's and you know if I keep spending money like this I'm going to have to start working. Again. <laughs> uh, but you're enjoying it aren't you? I'm enjoying it fortunately that's tongue in cheek I have all the money I need. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well what do you say let's head over. Let's head over there. Uh, yeah let's head over to Coughlin's I'm ready. You know how I love to get a little video of my uh, Ohio country roads. That's right. And we're going to be crossing this to head over to Kaufman, Kaufman's Country Bakery. Nothing better. Uh, in case anybody doesn't know, this is Highway 241, which actually in Maslin is called Maslin Road. Did you realize that, Putt? We're, we're on 241. Hey, look at that Amish chick on her bike. 
Come on. Man, she's got a nice butt. I gotta get my dad some homemade apple butter. You know how oh. much he loves that. He, I, I didn't know that he loves apple, loves butter. apple butter. Man, I'll tell you what, you're gonna be broke when you get out of Amish country today. Well, this is, what, Kaufman's, is this the name of it? Gee, I bet you'll love these, Kaufman's what? potato chips. Yeah, I, I'm a little leery of buying potato chips. I need to get some shearers, though. Yes. I looked for them at the Walmart uh, by Tim. Mm -hmm. They didn't have them. I think you're going to find this shirt pretty easy. Amish countries, men in black. You know it. Well, you I do know that men in black, I love those movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty this cool. That's pretty clever. Yeah, it is. But I still say they're a cult. <laughs> Nobody will convince me otherwise. Hey, Putt. Yeah. Check it out. They even have tables. If you want to get something to eat, we can sit down. It's a pretty nice bakery. The question is, do we want to get something here, or do we want to wait till we get to the bakeries at Deer Dutchman and Dutch Valley? I'm just not sure. I don't believe it, Putt. An Amish cappuccino <laughs> machine. I can't believe it. I learn so much every time I come down here. So much. Hey, I have to ask you, have you ever have you ever seen an Amish cappuccino machine before? I've never seen it. Well, have you first, ever seen first time. have you ever seen Amish air conditioning? No. I'm about to show it on the video. <laughs> Hang on. There it is, putt, right above you. Amish air conditioning. Do you see it? I see it. Right there. You saw it first, right here at Kaufman Bakery. See anything else you want? To, did you say you saw banana nut bread? Yeah. I'm a sucker for that stuff. Hang right on, here. I may want you to can check try it out. Right here, G free sand. Okay. This is Kaufman's. As you can see, they have a nice little area where you can sit and eat your goodies. They have a great cappuccino machine back there, and they also are a bakery. Well, I mean bakery. They make donuts and stuff. Okay, we are out of here. And there's the front of Heine's Cheese Chalet. And Putt says if there's one thing he loves, it's a good Heine. <laughs> there's G and his jalapeno cheese cubes. We just wanted everybody to know that when I was at Heine's, I was not a cheapskate. I laid out a whopping 252 for some jalapeno, jalapeno cheese cubes, and I'm going to tell you what. First of all, look at those things. These babies are uh, delicious. By the way, this car right here is a Dodge Dart or something like that. And I'll tell you what. I hope we don't get a lot of wind noise in the mic, but I probably will. I'll tell you, it's a nice car, but this cheese is really good, Pud. Well, you've had some. Oh yeah, delicious. And it's got a heck of a nice kick to it. I mean, you can really feel the burn. And that's not Bernie Sanders <laughs> I'm talking about. You can feel the burn of those jalapeno peppers. This cheese is delicious. Well, we're, uh, we're in Walnut Creek. Heine's was only about, uh, what would you say, Five but minutes. Five, ten minutes away from Walnut Creek. And uh, we're up here, uh, how many times have I taken video from standing at the Carlisle and Deer Dutchman? Yeah. But I haven't taken it with a 57 zoom. <laughs> Can actually see what's down there. Stay off of me, wind, I do not need your noise in my mic. Hey, another truck rolling in with some more cheese, putt. You know, that, that's, I'm pretty sure that stuff is made in Maslin and Canton and then trucked down here. <laughs> you think so? I think so. They used to have horses out here, but I don't see them anymore.
what a gorgeous day. It's probably close to 50 degrees already, but screw that wind. Now I'm standing on the uh, patio of the Carlisle Inn, and I can get a little view of the valley without that stinking wind. Putt is in awe of this place. He it's said, beautiful. He said, gee, are we going to go to that place where we look down over the hill? <laughs> and I said, you know it. And here we are. Look at my man. I stopped into the Carlisle to, uh, <laughs> to see if I could get a uh, carriage ride, a horse and buggy ride today, but I can't because the uh, Ezra uh, had a hard night last night. <laughs> he, uh, well, let's see. What was last night? The 21st, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, the 21st and 28th of the month, Ezra always gets lucky. So uh, he's in no shape to drive that horse and carriage today, so I'm not going to get a ride. W what is that picture of? Um, it looks like... Amish country. Yeah, Amish country. It's a small little town. In our little town. Well, too bad Ezra got lucky last night. I would have loved to have had a ride, but not going to happen. There we go. Gee, found another piece. Look at that. Put, put a piece in. Put a piece in. Well, you know, if a putt has always said if there's one thing he loves, it's a good piece. <laughs> and uh, I think he just found one. I did. Found a little. I gave my contribution for the day. Yeah, great job, putt. <laughs> great job. Here in the old uh, reclining area of the Carlisle Inn. Now, we're no longer up in the lobby area of the Carlisle Inn. We came down to uh, the lower level mm -hmm. where uh, if, you can, if you look to your left putt, you yeah. will see restrooms. That's right. Now, what I want you to do is to video me taking a whiz. Could, could you do Because I've never had anybody video me taking a whiz <laughs> except myself, which I have done a few times. Yeah. <laughs> video my when I'm out hiking, <laughs> as you know, I've done it. Can you can you handle that for me? I can take care of that. Okay, well, I'm going to shut this off, and uh, we're going to go take a whiz bang. You have to admit, this is pretty uh, pretty luxur luxurious for for Walnut Creek. It is. Spring has sprung in Ohio. Daffodils in bloom here in front of the old Carlisle Inn. Putt and I are, well, we're flat out pumped, to tell you the truth. It's awesome. I saw, oh, I saw a robin in Tim's yard yesterday. And of course, you know, when you see robins in Ohio, that's an indication that spring has returned. Uh, we're going to head down to the candy shop, Cobble Lentz or something like that. I, I forget exactly what it's called, but... Uh, had to have a little shot of the uh, the front of the old Carlisle Inn. The exterior here. The exterior. Now, there are some more daffodils that are in bloom. And I hate that wind, but nothing I can do about it. Okay, let's go down to the candy shop. Let's do it. What candy shop, you may ask? That candy shop right there, Cobblehead. World famous chocolate. And of course we have some more country roads. We are deep in Amish country. Well, you know, we're gonna drive by Garraway High School too. We drove by Highland, Berlin Highland, and we're gonna go by Garraway. Now, as you can see, we have some Amish girls that are pimping up here. They are not on the, where's their horse, putt? Where's their horse? Little windy out here today. Little windy. Uh, they're part of the new group that has uh, embraced Razor Rage. <laughs> you could tell. But some things never change. I love the cup, the compliments because uh, they always have a cream of the month. And this, uh, uh, the cream of the month this week, they, uh, they don't have it written down, but it, it's Diane. And she may be in today, so let's go. Uh, let's go see if she uh, 
stuff, we can get her to cream. Yeah, I've never seen this before, but this is where they actually make the candy. And I don't, if they had this open before, I've never seen it here in Cumberland in uh, Walnut Creek. They are. <laughs> Especially since they squat the pee. I mean to tell you, they are whipping that candy out. They are, but this is incredible. Yeah. Have you ever seen candy being made before? Not like this. No, I mean, Lucille Ball couldn't do it after that. Wow, that is really cool. You know, I wonder if I'm uh, videoing uh, proprietary trade secrets or uh, oh, methodologies yeah. or anything like that. They could have their barrister all over me. I think. I don't know if they do that or not, but that's pretty cool. It is. Look, look, even back here you can see the chick. I think she's actually way back there cooking. She's actually cooking the chocolate, yeah. I believe. Pretty cool. Then the chocolate gets made and it's brought out here for putt's consumption. Did you buy anything in this shop? Nope. He finally decided to hold on to his coin. But this is the actual shop itself. Yes, I bought some candy. I'm a sucker for this stuff. Chocolate cashews, milk chocolate, good stuff. And I paid for it right there just like those people are. We love it in Amish country, love don't we? It. What time is it? It's only 12:15. Uh, wow, we got plenty of time. Oh yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, now you know we're in Amish country, real deal. And I'm about ready to capture me some soul. I could be in some serious trouble. But as you can see, I came through with flying colors. Okay. G, G is in seventh heaven. He walked in, didn't expect this. Well, you know, we speculated that they might still have some cider left over from the fall. And look at that. It's only $4.95 a gallon. It's a little more expensive than gasoline, but hey, no, it won't run my car. But it'll run G. It'll run G. And man, I'll tell you what, you know how I'm, I'm tempted to get two, but I have a feeling that I wouldn't be able to finish two gallons along with all that other soda. Maybe get one and get a smaller one, G, up on top. Nah, I'm good okay. this one. I think what, what, what I'll do, hey, you know what, if I drink it all, I'll come back down before uh, There you go. Before I leave and get in there. But chances are this is the only one I'm going to get. I can't believe it. Cider. You know it. I'm down. I'm going to go pay for it. Putt's favorite store in uh, Walnut Creek. Yep, no doubt. Um, Hillcrest Orchard. You saw, I just got my cider out of the cooler there. I couldn't believe that they still had it. It made me so happy. Is that the best thing that's happened to you today so far? Huh? Walking in and seeing that cider? That's the best thing in reality that has happened <laughs> to me today. Now, I've had a few moments in my mind that uh, might supersede <laughs> me getting that, uh, might supersede me getting that... Uh, cider? That cider, but, uh, you know... Reality, that is definitely the best thing that's happened to me today. And you got your apples? I got my apples. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I want to check that out. Oh, Putt, you got Granny Smith. You know it. I'm going to tell you what. Granny best. Smith apples make the best applesauce and apple pie. Mm. I don't know if you... I love apple. I love Granny Smith apple pie. I've had that before. Yes, well, it makes great applesauce, too, because I, I use them to make my own applesauce. It's really good. There before. 
Yeah, I'm, we'll go out there in a second, but look at all those apples. Yeah. Did you eat apples? Huh? He, he already bought his. Yes, yeah. Yep, and I got my cider, but man, you guys still have a pretty good supply, don't you? Yep. Hey, you know what? Try a free sample of our hot spice cider. Mm. I'm going to try that too, but it says right here, help yourself to a free sample of our fresh sweet cider. I don't feel bad about doing this because I've already bought a gallon of cider that I have by the door to pick up when we leave. And we're here at Hillcrest Orchard, but I'm going to tell you what. Good as you remember it? Oh, it, it, JJ would go nuts. If I wasn't so cheap, I'd buy him a gallon. But that's two dollars. <laughs> you know, it said four ninety-five, but it's only, she only charged me two ninety-five. Oh. It must be on sale. Maybe I'll get JJ a gallon. He'd probably yeah. like it. Yeah, he probably would. Should I? Yeah. Talk me into it. I think I you should. JJ? I think he'd he'd appreciate okay. it. Especially now, at only two fifty-nine. Now let me try the hot spice. I don't know. I don't know if you've ever had hot cider. Mm. But it's delicious. When, yeah. you, when the kids and I, you know, this was the last year for the um, o Osborne Family Lights. Yeah. And uh, Renee and I got to go. Unfortunately, my son couldn't. But anyway, every year, except one, we would get our hot cider. And we got our hot cider again this year when we were down in Florida uh, um, at the Osborne Family Lights at Christmas time. Good stuff. And, oh, man. If you've never had hot cider, you're missing a treat. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you can't believe, you can't believe how good that is. It's absolutely delicious. I may have to have more than one free sample. <laughs> Does it say limit one? No, one it just says free sample. But I guess sample is singular. We use one, but try a free sample. We use one spice bag and two to three cups of cider. This is incredible. Do they sell spice? Cider? They, I think they do. We'll have to ask. I'm not asking because if the answer is yes, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'm not even asking. You don't even want to know. No, I don't want to know. I'm going to get JJ a gallon of cider and then that <laughs> Sayonara. Man, yep. Sayonara cider. We're out of here. Well, what you're looking at now is I'm at the top of the observation deck at the back of Hillcrest Orchard. And uh, what you're looking at right there is the resort, well, the, the lake where many, many years ago, Sonny and Cher, <laughs> Sonny and Cher met. And you didn't know that, did you, no. Pud? Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we're deep in Amish country. And uh, I'd say having a pretty good day. Well, at least I know I'm having a great day because I love this stuff so much. That's where Papa Uma mouth is. Papa in the summertime? Yep. Uh, you know, I think I see some of the, uh, some of the uh, residuals still floating on the top of the uh, water down there. I would zoom in on it, but that's kind of gross. Oh, let me tell you a story about a man named Charlie on the tragic and fateful day. Sounds like there's uh, some kind of a uh, unit running. In fact, I'm going to turn this off. That's bad background. Hey, gee, how about a carrot? For you boys, I'm broke. I got no more money. You cheap sea suck. Okay, we've left Hillcrest Orchard, and we have the, we're at the Gorge Overlook, top of Shabandi Hill, and uh, we just uh, kind of like that view down deep into the valley with the sun shining on that white barn. Uh, but I'm not sure, but I think that area down over there is called Hoedown Row. I think so, yep. Okay, there's a truck coming. He's going to be in my video, so I'm shutting it off. Sayonara, sucker.
Well, Pup, we've made it to the booming metropolis of uh, Charm. I, too, here. I hope that thing doesn't have lice. That wouldn't be good. No, it wouldn't. Pup found himself a friend here in Charm. I, he, you know, we may not be able to get you out of this city. I know. This guy loves me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, we're in the booming metropolis of Charm. Population, well, let's see. Did uh, did uh, Sonia give birth last night? I think so. Population 23. Yeah. And uh, why did I even come here? This is this is down this is the main intersection of Charm. This is downtown Charm. Yep. Let's go over to the uh, I like to go into the uh, hardware store. Let's right. do it. Let's check it out. Man, you made a real friend, Putt. Oh yeah. I don't understand that. I'm the one that fed the cat. Yeah. And you're the one that's getting all the affection. That's right. That's Once again, G gets screwed. <laughs> Yes, here we are in Charm and the old Amish wagons are everywhere. But this is not a hotbed of activity. We need to get back to the main drag, but you know what do you say? I'm down. Let's blow this popcorn stand. Hey, gee, give me an apple. Well, dude, the only apples I see around here are road apples. That's okay, G. I love to recycle. You know what? You look like Francis the Talking Mule. He's my uncle. Okay, dude. Well, look at that tongue on that animal. Licking that, uh, that post. The boy's getting a little antsy. He's ready to move out. What am I doing? I'm killing some time waiting for putt. Here in Charm. I'm just checking out farmland. Well, we're about ready to head back into the hub of activity. Eventually you'll see us in uh, downtown Sugar Creek. We're doing it all today down here in Amish country. We'll go to the winery. I might even sample, sample a couple and uh, who knows what else? Is this Friar Tuck? Yeah. Friar, I thought it might be uh, uh, St. Pecker, but whatever. He ain't getting no respect. Oh. No <laughs> respect. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, dude. I wish I could help you out. I wish you could too, G. This shit stinks. Sorry about that. No respect for the fry man. He got scooed. He definitely got scooed. By the way, just so everybody knows, we did make it to downtown Sugar Creek. That's the main intersection. Yeah, downtown's not too big. Well, Sugar Creek's not too big. What do you think, Pup? Maybe 10,000 people? If that. If yeah. that, yeah. But we're going to go check some things out. We love our creek. I mean to tell you, they have nothing but the latest in outside decorations here at the creek. Who stays in business, Steve? I don't know, but I don't know how any of these places stay in business. Yeah. There's, uh, there's my rental, that white car up there. Uh, we're heading out, uh, uh, going over to Dutch Valley because Putt's hungry and I have to dump. And I want a clean restroom. You want to see the giant cuckoo clock? I'm going to get that right now. The sign right there says the giant cuckoo clock. But I thought you were going to go up there and check that out. Yeah. I don't want to mess up your shot. No, no. I always like to have somebody in my shot. Oh, yeah, that's nice. How long? I don't remember ever seeing that before. You think that's something new? It must be. I don't nor do I. There's Last a. Time, the hour and a half hour. Are we close? No, it's. Eight uh, minutes. 
Oh, oh, I was going to say it was 5 after 4. I see it's only about 120. I can't wait that long. Everybody loves downtown Sugar Creek. Well, it's uh, March 26, 2016. Look at that sky. Look at that sunlight. Believe it or not, I've been up here almost two weeks and I've had sunshine almost every day. It's 55 today. Yesterday it was a little chilly. I've had two days that you would consider, I guess, cold. Most people would. I, they were okay for me. And the rest of the time, it's, uh, it's been getting up into the 40s, 50s, and uh, 60s. And tomorrow, it's actually one day it did go up into the 70s. And tomorrow it's supposed to go up into the 70s. There's Tim's pole barn. Take a look at that sky. Tomorrow's my last full day here. And I leave uh, Monday, tomorrow's Sunday. I leave Monday to go back uh, to Florida. Plane takes off around six, I get back in, I don't know, 8.30, something like that. Sarge is gonna pick me up. But uh, I just wanna do a video of this to show you just, ah, screw showing you. For me to remember just how doggone nice this uh, this weather's been up here. I, I, man, I can't kick. I really can't. I mean, as you can see, well, there's hardly a cloud in the sky today. And I've had other days like that, too. Uh, it was really nice <coughs> weather-wise down in Columbus for the uh, state basketball tournament. Down for all 12 games. Cost me 144 big ones. I'll have to send Charlie a check when I get home. Charlie who, you might ask? The mellow tones of Charlie Jones. We all love the Seaman. Ooh, wait, that didn't sound right. We all love Charlie, how's that? Tonight I'm gonna take a walk. Oh, dang. I stopped at Hartville Kitchen to eat. I bought a black raspberry pie, left it in the car. I gotta turn this off and go get that sucker. Oh, look at that mofo. Straight from Hartville Kitchen. I hope it's as good as uh, Dutch Valley or Dear Dutchman. But uh, that little puppy, $11.75. What is it? A black raspberry pie. And I can't wait to tie into it. Now you see that German Shepherd over there? That dog almost always barks at me. But for some reason... When I just now came out, he didn't. Listen to those birds chirping away. Uh, we're starting to get some spring vegetation. Let's see if I can find a little. Well, obviously, there's not Jack. Wait, I was going to say there's not Jack, but I think I see some... Yes, I see a little bit of spring vegetation. These are the rose bushes. What else is there? Hey, let's go take a look at the road. See if anything's growing in the road. Well, there's not Jack growing in the road, but uh, as you can see, I'm standing in uh, Tim's driveway. The road ends, oh geez, what's that, 75 yards? It ends in a field. And then the road going up the other way, it ends in a field. It's uh, eight-tenths of a mile, and that's our walking loop. So, uh, ten laps, eight miles. The other day, I did 9.2. That's because I'm cool. Yep, that's the road the other way up. Yeah, we do have to cross Howe Road. What I like about this, uh, this uh, walkway, though, is when you cross the street down there where the cars are, uh, you seen the cars going? That stretch all the way to the end is uphill. And it really, uh, after a few laps, you start to feel it in the old calves. Oh, wait a minute, I think I see some more spring growth. Well, I walked over and I didn't see Jack, but there's, uh, there's Tim's house where I've been staying for the last week. Have to admit, I'm looking forward to getting back down to Florida because 
Had the same thing happen to me on this trip that I had happen a little over a year ago when I came up in uh, January. I got a little red rash all over my body that it's just like crazy and I had that when I stayed at JJ's place too. That plus the pack, fact that my back was killing me uh, last uh, February. I actually left after seven or eight days when I planned on staying up here about four weeks. Like I said, I'm out of here in a day and a half. Get back home to Florida and hopefully the rash will do just what it did last year. Disappear. I forgot to mention that my rental car is a Dodge Dart. And I'll tell you what, that's been a dandy little mobile. Good uh, gas mileage, comfortable, and easy for me to see out of. Which as you uh, all know, well you may not know and if you don't know I don't care but I'm about to enlighten you I have trouble seeing out of a vehicle because I can't turn around very well don't have a whole lot of flexibility in me the old bod anymore I've told a lot of people that Tim's place is surrounded by a lot of wood and wildlife but uh, nobody ever believed me now I got the video to prove it rebel rebel you tore your dress Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. Rebel, rebel, you look like pus. Hot damn, you're one of us. Just a little take on a David Bowie number. Yep, no question about it. Great day. I'm standing out here in a pair of sweatpants. Well, warm-ups and a very light short sleeve shirt. Listen to those birds. I could listen to that all day. <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> sorry about that had to clear my throat now you scum on in the viewing audience aren't going to believe it but it is uh, <clears throat> the next day Sunday March 27th <clears throat> excuse me Easter Sunday it's going to go up into the low 70s today I head home tomorrow tonight we're supposed to have thunderstorms and uh, rain tomorrow, but who cares? I'm out of here. The only thing I regret is that I missed out on our Easter 1900 Park Fair and Candy Scramble. But uh, I choked when I made the uh, when I made my plans. I thought Easter was in April. It came in uh, March this year. Well, G's uh, by himself today, so. I'm going to head back down to Amish country. Yep, the little old Dodge Dart is going to take me down to Amish country. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is going to be a great last day. Then I head, for, uh, head back to Florida. Well, enough of this. The next shot you see will be uh, either me on my way to Amish country or I'm in Amish country. So, uh, I'll catch you all later. I'm on 241, heading towards Amish country. I'm going to be going into Millersburg first. Now in Florida, it's virtually impossible to drive without any traffic in front of you. It's not so difficult here in Ohio on these backcountry roads, and I absolutely love them. Almost stable, 
stabilizer works on this sucker because I hit a few bumps. I'm just heading out of the booming metropolis of West Lebanon. It's Easter Sunday, March 27th, 2016. And as you all know, I'm on my way to Amish country. In fact, I'm almost to Amish country. Some cows out there taking it easy. Hey, gee, we heard you were coming down. This is for you. Why, you no good scum. Ooh, a little bit of a curve. Who knows, we may get lucky and see some Amish out for a, a Easter, Easter afternoon ride. I just passed a couple a little bit ago. The dude was driving, he looked like he had his hand somewhere where he shouldn't. But the chick had a big smile on her face. Those Amish women love their attention. Mount Eaton, a huge town. Sorry, I had to turn it off so quickly, but as I was making that turn, there was a cop sitting there. And I sure didn't want to see have that cop watch me uh, making a turn while I was using my camcorder. I could have been in deep do. But anyway, uh, I'm through Mount Eaton and getting closer and closer to Millersburg. Down here in the kind of country that I absolutely love and the kind of roads that I absolutely love to drive. Phil likes it too. What you've always wanted to see a live Amish horse and buggy out on the highway. Oh my God, I looked at the back. That's an Uber. That's an Amish Uber driver. I can't believe it. No wonder he was in such a hurry. You saw it first, an Amish Uber driver down here on 241, just outside of Berlin, Ohio. Now, sometimes these Amish people they have some problems with traffic. Taking them down the tubes, and uh, you can see why. They're uh, a little slow. Should have called Uber. They'll get you there at least five minutes sooner. But uh, that Amish Uber, they only have two or three Amish Uber drivers down here. So I'll just uh, follow along. Be hey, get your hands out of Oh, stinking things. I'll tell you what, you see more raw materials for scoo burgers along the sides of the road here as we come into Mount Hope. Uh, unbelievable. Well, when I get up to the stop sign, I think I'll try and get around this dude. I didn't have to pass that buggy. He went straight and I turned to stay on 241. I'm just outside of Berlin. You know, um, being Easter Sunday, there's not going to be much open in Amish country today. I'm going to have the place pretty much to myself. Man, I'm telling you, they are everywhere today. Well, it's Easter, one of their their big holidays. Um, Easter, it's almost as uh, big as uh, Good Friday. But I'll, uh, oh my God, there's another one down there too. How am I going to get past both of these? Don't worry, I'm going to give it a shot as soon as I turn this off. Uh, well, all you fans of uh, my uh, Amish country videos, not going to be a whole lot to see today because everything is closed I'm not even sure where I'm gonna be able to eat but I'll tell you one thing I'm glad I'm at the Carlisle in Walnut Creek because I got a wee wee bad I'll catch you on the rebound well here I am uh, one more time in Walnut Creek where the Carlisle is and can you believe it 
This place is deserted. There's the Carlisle. I just came from there. And uh, I was checking in the Carlisle to see if there were any places to eat uh, down here. A couple of local restaurants in Sugar Creek and then the usual Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, all the crapola stuff. Welcome, dear Dutchman Restaurant. That puppy is closed. Yeah, you may be closed, you sea suck, but fortunately, there's one of you over in Sarasota, and I'll hit it when I get back to Florida. Can you hear those birds? I don't mean the airplane. Then deep into the valley we go. I've never been down here when I've seen so few people and you know what? It's not all bad. See a horse and carriage coming up the hill. Don't know if I, if I try to zoom, it might uh, focus on the trees in front of me and go out of focus, but coming up the hill, the old horse and carriage. I'll tell you, the Amish love to celebrate Easter with a buggy ride. Whoops, went the wrong way. Hope it didn't go out of day. It's already 70 degrees. March 27th, 2016, Easter Sunday at G on his own. And enjoying myself. Check it out. The uh, farmers have already started tilling the soil. Because if there's one thing they love to do in Amish country, it's plant a little seed. You know it, G. We love to spread our seed. Leaving Sugar Creek now. There it is, the Carlisle Inn Sugar Creek and Dutch Valley. You just gotta love it down here in Amish country. I'm heading to the winery and the cheese factory. They won't be open, but I wanna see some of my favorite animals. See if my llama friend is out today. I'm on Route 39. I'm gonna go home 77. I'm gonna get there early because I wanna take a walk tonight before the rain starts. Well, the, uh, the boys are out. I was down here the other day with Putt, and I did a lot of video of uh, this little ranch behind the winery. And I had this stinking shutter closed. I had to delete all of it because it was black. So, I'm happy that I'm at, hey, there's my buddy the llama. Let me go check it out for you guys. That boy has been down here for years. I sure have G, and don't you ever forget it. Llama dude, I would never forget it. I know you've been, you're a, a staple in this area. I sure am. Oh, by the way, I was talking to my buddy Ezra, Ezra Eggs up there at the uh, Carlisle and Walnut Creek. And he told me why uh, there are so many Amish people out in their buggies today. Easter Sunday, the one day of the year that the Amish condone wife swapping. So uh, I can see why they're all beating feet to uh, 
to get to different venues because uh, there's a little bit of poontang to be had. Yep, Easter Sunday, once a year, Amish condone wife swapping. If there's one thing we love, it's the mighty rivers that rush through Amish country. Right, horse? You know it, G. Boy, enjoying a leisurely Easter afternoon. Might get a little wind in the microphone, a little wind noise here because uh, we have some wind, but who cares? It's all part of life. Dude's been blowing wind all his life. Of course, there's my Dodge Dart. It's been getting me around for a week. Great vehicle, really great. Look at that sky. Is that nothing but blue? I'm gonna tell you. I'm wrapping it up here in all Amish country today. It's too sunny, I can't be out. And besides that, none of the good restaurants are open. But I kinda knew that would be the case on the way down. I was hoping I was wrong, but I wasn't. And of course, there's the old winery, but uh, I can't go in for any samples today because they're closed. You know, I don't understand that. The Amish people are all about the coin, and there's serious money to be made on Sundays. Well, of course, I, I realize why everything's closed Easter Sunday. Like I said, they got some serious wife swapping to do. But the rest of the year, Serious coin to be made on Sundays, especially if it's not raining. And of course, just another one of my favorite Amish country roads. Breitenbach Amish country wines. There's a cheese factory down there to the left. That's what that sign's telling you all about, but... I don't think I'm going to head down there because, uh, curse that wind. Because it's closed, there's nothing to see. Of course, another one of my favorite uh, country roads, this is how I got down here. It's a pretty steep hill I'm going to have to go back up. Fortunately, I don't have to walk it. I got a vehicle. And look at that old bad fellow horse. We could not get enough Amish wildlife. And I guess that's good. Oops, I'm not sure if I got him or not. Wish I could see. I wish you could see too. Gee, you're getting on my nerves. Sorry, dude. That's okay, G. I just consider the source. You no good sea suck. And there's the llama over by the fence. And the horse, and my vehicle, some more of the winery, and I think it's time for me to shut it down. So this may be the last video you even see from the Ohio trip, the 2016 Ohio trip. It's been a good one. Went to all 12 uh, state semi and finals for boys basketball. Didn't do any video when I was down there. Thought it would be kind of worthless. Had great weather. And this is it. I'm done in Amish country for today. And heading back to Florida tomorrow. Say it ain't so, G. Are you really heading back tomorrow? I sure am. Well, dang it. I thought you were going to be here longer. I was going to prepare a load for you. Oh, that's all right. You can save it for when I bring dude down. Will do, G. Okay, dude, now that I'm sitting down and comfortable, I want to say sayonara, sucker. Okay, G. Have a safe trip home. Thanks a lot, dude. So now, when the dishes are done and the storybooks closed, you too can lay down your... I will see you next time. No you got it, G! An original mattress.